Dolly Parton once shared, When I wake up, I expect things to be good. If they are not, then I try to set about trying to make them as good as I can because I know I'm gonna have to leave the day anyway. So why not try to make the most of it if you can? Some days, they pan out a little better than others, but you still got to always just try. Waking up in the morning can be a chore as it heralds the beginning of a new day with its challenges, uncertainty, ups and downs, and every other thing you can't define. When the alarm goes off, we get tempted to press the snooze button so that we can spend a little more time in the unconscious state of sleep and delay waking up to the race of life. Well, we have to wake up anyway, don't we? How do you wake up without a grump? How do you feel good about seeing a new day? How do we have a positive mindset as we set out to face the world? All these won't just happen. No, they won't just present themselves to us because the world is out to destroy your peace except you create a world which protects it. So, how do we wake up, feel awesome and stay positive through the day? Well, as Dolly Parton said, we have to try. In a bid to make you feel awesome, here are 25 ways to achieve that goal and have things turn out right each day. Number 1. Plan a great day the night before There is one truth which many people ignore. A great day starts the night before. If you go to bed with a grouch, the chances are that you will wake up still grouchy. When asleep, your mind might rest, but it doesn't fix itself. You have got to do that yourself. So clear your mind of whatever anger, disappointment and fear it harbors and prepare it for an excellent day ahead. Have your to-do list if you run on list. Prepare your confidence exuding dressing. Spark up your mind with a positive state and then have your rest so you will feel energized for the great day ahead. Number 2. Eat right the night before. You are what you eat. Be it breakfast or dinner, eat right the night before so you can sleep right or else you will wake up feeling tired and irritable. Ensure to eat at least 3 hours before bedtime. Do not eat heavy meals for dinner. You won't spend the energy it will produce and the human body stores fat, not energy. Do not stress your body while it should be resting. Eat a great meal if you want a great morning. Number 3. Your alarm tune should be uplifting. In trying to create a positive world which will keep you feeling awesome, make sure the alarm tune is cherry. Something that will get the job done but not jolt you awake into a state of mini heart attack. It should not lull you deeper into sleep, but it shouldn't start your day with panic either. Number 4. Organize and clean your surrounding. Your mind is many times a reflection of your surroundings. Ensure it is clean and orderly or you would be overwhelmed with everything. This precaution should be handled the night before in preparation for the great day you want to have. Waking up to a disorder in your immediate surrounding fills you with uneasiness and your day begins with stress. Order your surroundings. Order your life. Number 5. Let your first sight be something beautiful and cherry. Just like the first thing you hear, the first thing you see should be cherry and set precedence for beauty and awesomeness. It might be a painting, it might be the sun, and it can be anything you want it to be, but let it be a lovely view. Number 6. Smile Give yourself the first smile of the day. Make it a deliberate act to smile as the first action after opening your eyes. A smile lifts the spirit and if you do it first thing in the morning, you will find that it might stay with you for the rest of the day. Now, isn't that awesome? Number 7. Breathe. Take a deep breath. It is a new day and you should breathe in and start it. Sit up. Fill your lungs with air from the new day, exhale and repeat. You will instantly feel relaxed and this relaxation technique can lead directly into the next point. Number 8. Meditate The next practice doesn't have to be the humming process many people have associated with meditation. This point is about embracing silence, 
mindfulness and thankfulness. It is about spending the time with yourself and higher power in whom you believe. Meditation is about reminding oneself of what is important and focusing on that. It is a stage where you get strength from each day and get back to your mental state of equilibrium. Number 9. Have a gratitude journal. Some people have said that one should write great things about their day before bed to stay grateful. However, writing about gratitude in the morning directs your mind towards goodness and contentment and peace. You set a foundation for recognizing reasons to be thankful as the day progresses. Number 10. Drink water. It is advisable that the first thing your body gets in the morning be water. While you may be addicted to coffee, water is healthier and if you want to have an awesome day, go for the best, always. So take a glass or two of water and feel your body wake up all over again. Number 11. Ignore social media. Some people involve checking their social media platform as part of their morning rituals. That can be toxic in the long run as you get instantly bombarded with too much information in all its forms and your mind gets running even before it is fully awake. Also, coupled with the many adverse effects of social media, this ritual is not necessary. Ignore social media and do something better for your morning ritual. Number 12. Have a morning routine of self-care. Stretch, dance, paint your nails, shave your beard, do what you will in as much as it makes you feel good and pampered. No, social media is not self-care. Number 13. Exercise. Now, this is something that pumps up the endorphins and you get to feel good. Treadmills, outdoor works, jogging, skipping, lifting weights, yoga, Whatever form you want it to be, exercise a man's best friend. They pump blood and get you feeling good. Do this and feel the awesomeness. Number 14. Read something inspiring. Read a great article from your favorite subscription. Read a great blog. Read a little from, a, from that inspiring book you are on. It can be from any source. But this is one way to get started, to get you started on a great day. Number 15. Listen to something inspiring. It may be a great audiobook or that podcast you love so much, or it might be a recording of positive affirmations. There are so many options. Listen to something great. Listen to something great, which will get you smiling into the world. Number 16. Look forward to an amazing day. Visualize a fantastic day and expect it to come to pass. Prepare your mind for it. Prepare to work for it and prepare a smile for it. Look forward to having an amazing day. Number 17. Remind yourself of your life's purpose. This reminder gets you and keeps you motivated. You get reminder of why you survive and the path you have to travel. You remember why you leave and you want to leave the day out. Get reminded of your purpose. Number 18. Visualize your goals. No matter the breakdown you have of your goals, those for the decade, for the next five years, for the next year, for the year, for the quarter, for the month, for the week, or for the day, in the form of a to-do list, see yourself visualizing them and internalizing that vision. Go smash them goals. Number 19. Visualize all the possibilities of the day. Imagine all the great things that could happen today. There are always a lot of desired possibilities that a day brings. Visualize them and embrace them. They are yours to discover and you won't find them if you tap the snooze button and go back to sleep. No, you won't. Number 20. Consider what makes you happy. Remember what makes you happy each day and look forward to doing them. It may be one thing or many things, but look forward to having another day to experience the joy of that experience. That should keep you positive. Number 21. Don't attach to negative thoughts. Don't do it. The goal is positivity. So, 
eyes on the target. If negative thoughts filters in, filter them right out. Don't entertain negative thinking and don't embrace it. Chase it out. Number 22. Ignore your phone a little longer. Get the more productive things done. Let the phone alone for a little longer. Remember how addictive it can be to scroll, refresh, refresh and drag and zoom. No, you have other things to do like the next point. Number 23. Have a cherry breakfast. You must have heard how breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So take advantage of this truth and dig into a nice breakfast. Eat every crumb and swipe. Lick the spoon clean and enjoy your meal. Have a good breakfast. Number 24. Focus on the moment. Each day has its struggles, which are in hours, minutes and seconds. Focus on life's moments and tackle them in that manner. The past is gone. The future is unknown. Deal with now. It makes things less complicated and makes you more productive. Number 25. Plan for the end of the day. It might be a bath, a tub of ice cream, a movie, a hangout with friends, a hangout with friends, or just calling up on the sofa with a good book or even social media. It is up to you. Just plan something which will be perfect for the end of a great day. And this plan will keep you motivated as the day goes on. When the night comes, though, don't forget to prepare for another great day tomorrow. Having a great day depends on you trying to make each day one. The day might have its plans for you, but you also need to have a plan for it. The way to plan an awesome day lies somewhere in these 25 points shared above. So wake up, feel awesome, and stay positive. Thank <laughs> you.